So I'm going to show you how to recreate Five Nights at Freddy's in Roblox exactly as it is in the original. Um, so first we're going to start with the camera. So go to starter character script and insert a local script. You can call this camera. And Roblox actually has a camera script that has some rotations and stuff we're going to use that and then sort of edit it so i'll put a link in the description uh to the script uh just go to the link and then scroll down to where it says rotate around object and just copy that put it in here uh this is um Roblox's code. It's on the official developer website, so it's you can use it. And we're just gonna edit a few things here, and I'll show you what this is, um, and then I'll and then we're gonna be editing it to uh, get it to what we want. So just insert a part, and then just press play, and you'll see it'll just rotate around this part infinitely so we're going to use this to make it into the uh, camera in Five Nights at Freddy's so the first thing you want to do is change rotation time to like one second rotation degrees you can leave that for now we're going to change that later rotation repeat count change that to zero and change look at target to false and then we want to rotate the camera to the right if the mouse is on the right of the screen rotate it to the left if it's on the left of the screen so we'll need to get the mouse so local mouse equals game dot player is the local player uh, colon get mouse and then we want to see like what is the x position of the mouse when it's on the left of the screen and what it is on the right so let's just get a while loop here and just print the mouse position so we know the values to use so just print mouse.x put a weight so that it won't crash and then let's see so we just need like the the middle oh yeah also go to view and turn on the output so we can see so it looks like the middle is about 435 but this will be different depending on the screen size so We'll need to uh, get the screen size and just take that divided by two. So actually, instead of doing this, uh, Roblox has a, we can use the print workspace dot current camera dot viewport size to get the size of the screen. So if we press play here, yeah, so we've got, we just want, we're just interested in the X, so 893, we're actually going to need this as a variable, so let's say local screen size equals workspace dot current camera dot viewport size, and now that divided by 2 will be like the middle point for the mouse, so let's create a function, you can call this whatever you want, I'll just call it like, I guess, mouse position. And then here we're going to have a while loop, while true, this is always going to be running. It's going to be checking the mouse position. So we want to check if the mouse.x is greater than or equal to screen size divided by 2. So if it's on the right of the screen, then we want to tween the camera to the right. So. That's where we take this, where it says set up and start rotating tween. Take everything from the tween info to tween colon play. Uh, yeah, don't need the comment. Yes, yeah, so and just uh, paste that into the if statement. And 
we just and we want to do one thing before we want to change the rotation angle or I don't think it's it's rotation degrees so rotation degrees to we're going to the right so that would be like negative and I think 25 would be good for now uh, we might have to tweak that later but so 25 to the right and then else if the mouse.x is less than screen size divided by 2 then copy all of this put it here and change chat to positive 25 degrees so that'll um, tilt it to the left and we don't want this to like we don't want all of this code running every millisecond that the a mouse is on the right side of the screen so let's create some variables to prevent that uh, yeah I don't really know what they're called you can just call it do once I guess they're kind of debounces but yeah you can just call it whatever you want just set them to false uh, yeah I guess the debounces debounce one debounce two But yeah, call them whatever you want, and then here we're gonna say if mouse.x is that and uh, not debounce one, then you wanna set debounce one to true and set the other one to false. And then do the same thing here but reverse, so and not debounce 2 so then you want to set debounce 2 to true debounce 1 to false and then make sure you put a weight at the end of your statements or you can put it before it's up to you in a way like a 0 0.1 you want this to be a small value because you want to check the mouse like every millisecond and then wrap this in a coroutine because we want to we don't want to pause execution of the entire file. We want this to run while everything else is running. And now let's try this out. Uh, okay, there's an error. All oh, right, you want this to be screen size dot x. Okay, now this should work. So yeah, if it's on the right. Okay. Oh yeah, sorry. We also need to set in here with uh, at the like right under the if statement set uh, tween complete to false. And now this should work. So mouse is on the right, mouse is on the left. Yeah, and it's rotating just like the. Five Nights at Freddy's camera. So, yeah, and then we're just gonna be building the office around that. Now let's actually get the office. I am not good at um, modeling and stuff, so I'm just gonna see if there's uh, a map of the first game just on Roblox already. Let's, let's see what this one looks like. Uh, there's no decoration. Okay. What about this one? Okay, yeah, this one looks very good, although it's lagging my <laughs> um, 
game. But let's let's see. I want to disable all the scripts in here. Though, uh, so just right click the parent model. Just say disable scripts. That should get rid of all the scripts in there. And let's move the camera. We should probably rename this to. You can just call it camera part, and then go into the script and uh, change the where it says local target equals workspace. Go and find first child part. Just change that to camera part, just to be more organized. And let's just put that in the office. Okay, we might have to uh, change the offset here. So I'll change the offset to Y to like 5 maybe. And we'll move this. I think we need to rotate this so that it's the other way around. So if the movement's kind of inverted, just kind of rotate your part. And then I gotta see what this is like. Uh, okay, still kind of weird. Let's let's get rid of the Z offset as well. So let's change that to zero. We only really want the Y one. Hmm. Okay, so I think I finally got a good um, rotation angle thing going here. Uh, yeah, you just have to mess around with the rotation. Like, I ended up having to. Sorry, let me get rid of this annoying beeping sound. But yeah, I ended up having to rotate the entire map until the rotation was good. Uh, but yeah, so just mess around with that until the camera is good. And then we can make this invisible, by the way. And if you're using the same map, there was a locker here. Uh, I just got rid of that because it was in the way when you were rotating. So yeah, I think that'll be it for this part. And the next part, we'll start probably programming the doors and the lights.